Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and video 5 on our course play beta series. This was recorded with 7.0.0.12, which currently doesn't have multiple tool support in it. Future versions may have, so if you're watching this in the future, you may not have to worry about this. But what I'm going to show you is how I think you can use two combines on a course when you can't do multiple tools. Uh, before we get stuck into that though if you're new to the channel please click that subscribe button the channel is growing pretty crazily with these course plate videos so uh, click subscribe turn on notifications hit the like button uh, leave me a comment if you like hate detest the videos or if you want to tell me to speak up a little bit my voice is as it is i'm afraid so uh, i have two of the new holland tx combines here i went with two small combines because that way we can see more of it working on this relatively small field and then in the background i have a nice modded john deere tractor if you want the link for that drop me a comment below and i will find it and post it can't even remember the name of the model that created it which is really bad i suppose so let's get into some course creation uh, we have field 18 here um pretty much set up as standard um, I am going to make sure that we raise late and lower early. So again, sorry about the cursor offset. I think it's because of the way I'm pre-recording this stuff. I don't need to change anything with the combine particularly. And I found when I tested this, the multi-tool stuff, vehicle convoy stuff didn't particularly work. So I'm not using it on here. It may change as future versions of course play update. As I said, this was done with 7.0.0.12. So we're going to create a course. So we go across to course play field work, set our target in the field. Uh, we'll set first waypoint, although it's not important at the moment. Open the course generator. And then I'm going with smooth turns. I'm going to set four headlands. You want an even number, preferably. Uh, going to have it on lands mode. Um, when I get around to changing that. So we'll change it to lands mode. Um, and the plan is that we'll use one combine each on the headlands and then we've got four lands here so one combine will do two lands one combine will do the other two lands and it takes a little bit of work on your part to get this to work but you know, it's not that much and it's much quicker than uh, harvesting with one combine and probably easier than trying to use two workers so key point we need to save the course because we need to load it up onto the other combine that doesn't mean we need to restart this combine but we're going to go with the fairly easy option i think of uh, just jumping in and starting the combine up getting to a point on the course where we haven't got to worry about getting confused with going into headlands and then we'll just hit h and course plate will take over for us so I'm not sure what I'm uh, just sticking away so this way we can see that make sure that we're past the point where it turns on to the next headland so we can just hit H at this point and the worker will take over for us and we can jump back to the second combine so we get this guy fired up and uh, we'll then go and load the course up and the idea here is we will put this one onto the second headland so if we go into the course management click load course and then click the uh, two combines course that's loaded up we can see we'll uh, put up to show all waypoints and then get across to the second headland so I expect in future versions the uh, creators of course play will add in multiple combines it's a fairly pivotal feature of uh, the FS19 version and again now we can just hit H and the worker will take over and run along the course play course for us uh, and just so you can see that, yeah, we are using the course play course. I'm not just using two random workers. Uh, both are coming up and taking the corner for us. So we're now going to jump ahead to finishing up the first headland with combine one. And what we're going to do is as we take the corner, we're going to hit H to stop the worker. Um, so we'll do that just as we swing around this corner this combine doesn't turn great it's not got a brilliant turning circle but that works in this case because we've just hit h and uh, i'm just going to move this combine over to the side and let combine two go past and get onto the third headland and then we're going to put combine one on the fourth headland 
The idea there is that Combine 1 will run the fourth headland and then jump in to the first two lands. So once we've got this guy going, we can pretty much leave it apart from emptying it. And because it's oats, it doesn't yield a massive amount. So in this case, it's not so much of a problem. But we'll see Combine 2 is going to go around and pick up the third headland for us. So we'll back up here and uh, cut into this bit of crop that we've missed. It's just because the combines don't have a brilliant turning circle. And uh, get ourselves on the fourth headland with combine one. So this this is the bit I said where it takes a little bit of work, but it's not a lot. And if you've got a big field, once you're into the body of the field, as long as you've counted your lands right, you can just leave them to it. And you could then even set up auto drive. To uh, so we just hit H here, and we'll pick the worker up, just letting the second combine get a bit of a head start. Uh, so yeah, if you were then on a big field, you could set up auto drive to cart for you and just leave things to go. We're just going to jump in the 4960 and uh, empty the combines a bit, and then we'll get on to doing the lands. I am planning still to do a video on auto drive in a situation where you've got two combines and multiple cars and things. Uh, I just haven't got around to doing that yet. It's on the list to be done soon. So combines uh, have been emptied and combine 2 is just finishing the third headland and this will be the last headland that this combine needs to do. And we're going to then run up to the other end of the field and jump on to the third uh, land. Uh, I picked the wrong line here, you want a line with a red dot on it, it looks like to me. Uh, but just getting on the line and hitting H and I can see that the combine is not behaving, it's uh, turning it off to the side slightly so we're going to back up pick up the next row across and uh, hit H and then we can just leave these two combines to work and they will harvest the field for us uh, you can see combine one is on its land over there it went straight from headland the fourth headland into the first land and you know they're good to go now and they will run until the end we'll just need to keep them from filling up So we'll jump into a bit of a time lapse at this point and you can just see how things work out with this running. So I, as I've said a couple of times, I fully expect the creators of course play to add in multiple tools. At some point the features for course play and combines are already improving. They've added in skip rows, which is useful. So not so much for combines, but if you're using big cedars and plows and things, you want skip rows. Um, so it's it's improving all of the time and they're releasing updates so often that this video may very quickly become redundant but uh, i know a lot of people like using multiple combines so you can see this i think works really well it's not quite as slick as having two combines running uh, next to each other but it's working really well i think so yeah that's how i plan to run multiple combines if i get to that point in a gameplay before we get to having it sorted properly in game Just a quick shout out to uh, the person who probably knows who they are, who donated me three coffees. It was much appreciated. They have very much been needed in the last few days as we get towards the end of the uh, holiday season and everyone going back to work and college and things. If you want to donate a coffee, the link is below. Don't have to, just is there. Uh, and I was kind of surprised when the first email arrived when someone had donated some coffees. It was awesome. Uh, so... Combine 1 is just finishing up its last run of land number 2, so we can hit H again, take that over to the trailer and empty. And Combine 2 is on its last line, row of the fourth land, so again, we can take that over to the tractor. So that's pretty much it, multiple combines with course play uh, 7.0.0.12 beta version. Uh, if you found this useful, Give me a like, uh, drop a comment below, and I'll catch you next time on Farming Simulator 22.